Hello dear friends, now, this is Midas from Kitty Street and today we'll be making a racing animation where different animals get to race. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's start it. Let us delete the sprite first and let's let's go and choose a nice sprite that can run. This one looks more like it's just walking. Oh, I could come back here. Let's just choose this same sprite and this time around it's cut. Okay, so I chose this one because it has really nice costumes. Okay, and these costumes are the ones we can switch to. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we want to reduce its size and take it backward a bit because it's going to be running. All right, so we're going to get where the green flag is clicked. When the green flag is clicked, uh, we want to reduce the size, we want to shrink it. So let's make it uh, maybe 40. Okay. Now I want it to, that has happened good. Now I want it to move back a bit. So say go to whenever the green flag is clicked, change size to 40, set size to 40, and go to X should be minus 210, minus 210. Okay, that's fine. Ah, look at that. Okay, so it just moved backward a bit. Now, let's leave it as this for now. So, we could make this random, right? Because we're going to be using the random. I'm going to learn how to use the random operator today. So, let's we could make this random. Let's go to the operators and make this one random. So, it's going to choose, uh, let's write from um, minus 180 to 180 that is the height of this place so it's going to be moving from different it's going to be choosing randomly if i click on the green flag see can you see that okay i'll just make it uh, so, so i don't want it to just go above this part so i'll make it um minus 160 instead to 160 so it doesn't go too far down Okay, like that. Okay, beautiful. So now, what we're going to do is let's get out of forever block that is going to make it start running. So to make it run easily, we're just going to use a move 10 step block. Now you guessed it, uh, move 10 step block is just going to make it keep moving and turning back around. We're going to make it come back around. Now look at that. Okay, um, let's add the next costume first. Let's add the next costume from looks to make the costume change. Let's start that over. Okay, good. Now, remember we said it's going to be a race and every race definitely can't, uh, people, the racers in a game can't run at the same speed, right? So, because they can't run at the same speed, they're going to make the speed of the cart different. When it's moving at 10 steps, we know how fast it can move. But this time around, we don't want to know how fast it can move. So, we're going to go to operators again and place out pick random. What pick random does really is that it lets you choose, or it chooses by itself without letting you know what it chooses between the numbers you set here. So, for example, here I wrote 1 to 10. So, I can make it 1 to 15. If I click on the green flag, see, at some point you just realize that it's moving fast. Now, if you can't see it, just hold on a bit. Uh, now, let's make it turn around. Let's make it turn around if on edge bounce. Uh, now it's turning upside down. So, let's get set rotation style. Set rotation style makes it you can decide how you want it to move. If you do want it to rotate, you just got to keep moving back and forth. And then uh, left to right, see, so it just turns, it turns around and then keeps on going without turning upside down. So that's cool. Okay, so now we are going to, um, we're going to add another sprite to see how 
to see if they're actually going to move at the same speed. Now you're thinking you just have to go and pick. Yes, let's just go and pick another sprite. Um, a sprite I actually really like when it comes to races here is the hair. Yes, this one. Can you see this one? This one looks like it's running, so I like this. I'll use this one. I'm going to reduce the size, of course. Now, we don't have to start. You probably think we're going to start remaking this one all over. Let me show you a trick. This is a nice trick. You can always just drag this right here and move it here. Just drag it here. Now, if you notice, when I place it there, the, the sprite shakes behind it, right? So when it's done shaking, I just leave it. If I come back, if I come here, the block is the same. So if I click on the green flag, this is it moving. Now you can't see it very well, so I'm just gonna go and adjust the color of the hair. So let's go to costumes. Now this one shows when it is sitting, and we don't really need it to sit, we want it to run. So I'm gonna delete this one. Okay, so now I have just two costumes of when it is running. So for both of them, let's change the color of the body so it becomes much more visible. I'm just gonna change, come here. Uh, is that a good color? I don't know. A blue hair. Uh, okay. I want to use the same color for. Let me see this part. Let's just use the same color for everything for the body. Okay, so this is color 55, saturation 100, brightness 64. So I'll do the same thing for this leg. Uh, color 65. Uh, what was this one again? Oh, uh, let's see. What, what was it again? Um, 150 or oh, 5564. Okay, so that's 5500, not 65, All right, so that's the same thing here. I'll do the same thing for this leg as well. I'm no, notice I'm, I'm, I'm only painting the ones that only have this white skin. I'll leave this other one to make it look like it's a shadow, even though it's not a shadow. Okay, so um, 55, 164. Okay, that's the same thing uh, to this to this one. 5564. That's 55, 55. Uh, 564 okay so I guess that's enough I'll do this. we have to do the same thing for the other one right? the colors will be changing when the costumes are changing and we don't want that to happen now notice that it is kind of stressful having to go through all this let me show you a faster way you're probably wondering do you have to do that now let's we can select it. Now this is select. Now on your keyboard, there's a there's a control there's a key called control. Now if you press, if I hold control, that is press it down, and I select another part. See, uh, I'm oh sorry, hold shift and shift and then shift and shift. I shift, but the shift key on your keyboard allows you to select multiple uh, multiple um multiple parts on multiple parts on the uh, this design section so you can select all of them at once and then just come back here change the color to 55 you find out that all those parts you selected will change at the same time 55 was there just now okay 164 so there you have it it's the same thing now Pretty cool, right? Okay, so back to our code. Now, if I click on the green flag, you see that one is actually moving faster than the other. And they can even catch up to each other. Now, that's interesting, isn't it? Now, they can even catch up to each other. Okay, so this is really nice. Um, 
for the hair, maybe I'm going to make the hair slightly bigger to make it 50 and make their sizes even. If you want to change the color of the hair, you can use you could use a brighter color. Okay, so I'm just using this one. Um, I don't really like the color. Uh, you can make the color look much brighter and paint it better. Okay, so um, now to make it even more interesting, let's get out another sprite. This time around, we're going to get a line sprite. A line. Where is the line sprite? Okay, there it is. Now I want to use the line to show something like a finish, um, just like a finish line, okay? So first of all, this line I'm going to bring out when green flag is clicked. Uh, point in direction, because the direction is pointing is nice. I want it to just be here, so when they return, they get to know who came first or uh, just something like that, who came first, all that. They both finished the race, okay? So. We're just going to make them say, I finished the race at the end of the game. That makes it easier. Okay, so I'll just click on this one. Uh, so change the direction. You're going to say point in direction zero. Okay, so just drag this to the top. So click on the green flag. See? So then we're going to make this one go straight to this end here. And to do that, we're going to say go to this time around. We're going to make sure y is zero and the x is going to be minus 2 um 240 or 235 is better 235 okay okay look at that so see you can easily tell who touches the um who touches the line first right who touches the line first now here we can even say Uh, on the on the hair, we can say if touching line, say I finished, right? So easily if touching line, say I finished. So to do that, we're going to bring out an if block, an if then block from control here, okay? And we can put it forever for that, and yet another when green flag clicked. Now, since we're done on this block, we can just move it to the side to have some space. And here, we're going to say, now we're going to say, if touching, if touching line, say, um, I finished. finished for two seconds right say I finished for two seconds then after that we're just going to make the game stop okay so now if I click on the green flag we're going to see what happens okay look I see it started touching it immediately because that was where it started from so to do to touch that see because it was it started from there so it started touching it immediately so let's go to the line and make this 240 to make sure that you don't touch the line at the beginning. Okay, look at that. So it's not touching it, but when it's going back, it's likely going to touch it. It's cool. So you see that that's cool. See, so touched it again. Touched it. Alright, cool. That's fine. So now we're going to make sure we have that same code. Um, this same code, drag it to the cart here. Now the cart also has the same thing. Say so I finished for two seconds. Now instead of saying I finish for two seconds, two seconds is a bit long. Um, we're just gonna say say I finished and stop all. Say I won. Say I win. Or I won. And immediately we're going to stop the whole game, so only you get to know the first person. We're going to do that to the air too. Let's change that. Say, I won and stop all. Uh, I won. Then we're going to go to control and say stop. Stop 
all. Oops, so it's, it's touching it again. Can you see it's stopping immediately because it's touching it when it starts? Well, that's better. Hmm, who won? You didn't get to say it. Oh, it's not getting to say it because it is stopping immediately. So then, okay, I think then it's better for us to use the say I won for two seconds. So let's just use up. We can make it say it for one second. So the first person zone that shows up tells us who wins. So say, um, I won. One second. Let's stop all. Okay, so that is just an editing. Say, oops, um, I won for two seconds, and then that is all. So, why is the cat going in different directions? The direction of the cat has changed. Now we need to change that back. To 90. Look at that. Okay. So if you want to make sure that always stays the same, you can always drag out the um, point in direction 90 block. Or if you wanted to run in different directions, you could also just leave it like that. Okay. So I think from what I saw, the hair won because the airs I, I win came out first. Uh, this time around the cat one all right so that is a really simple game and if you want to add you can add if you want to you can add more sprites like i will right now you can just choose sprites that seem like they can actually run for example i could go ahead and choose i could choose this dove uh, i'll just have to change its direction uh there are so many other sprites you could use the giraffe um, I don't know if you want to use the giraffe, but then look at this. You could use this horse. You could use the horse too. I could just use the horse, and the same way I did it, you're just going to drag out both the codes here, and then the same for this one. So when we click on the green flag, see. Now the horse is really big, so I'm going to reduce the size of the horse. So we make that one 30 because the horse is pretty big. Now they're touching it. Now let's let's go to the line and let's reduce it again to make this one 244. Minus 244. The horse is still touching it. Now if you see, once you are encountering something like this, all you have to do is just come here and it's good. since we said go to x210 let's make all of them 200 so that they will never touch it 100 so they only get to touch it when they are returning 200 okay good so who goes the first the hair one right if we look at that again the hair is winning again all right so that is um, that is a really nice way to end this game. You can also add, you can also put your own ideas. If you have other ideas about how we can improve this game, please drop it down in the comments and we will make sure to respond. So please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more scratch videos and more programming videos like this. Until then, please stay safe. Bye-bye.